the Nigeria of our dream, the Nigeria we have envisioned in seven years, is impossible for only Christianity to achieve it. And that's why today we're going public with it. And by going public, we mean that we are letting it out in the open to say this is our intention. This is what we want to do. We've come a long way in Nigeria, operating since 2003. We started out with a vision called Transforming Hope into Action. That vision led us into another vision which we call Partnership for Change. Today, we are launching a new strategy, building up on the two different strategies we've actually uh, lived in Nigeria, building on those two different strategies over the last few years. Today, we are launching a strategy called Standing Together, and this means a lot. When we stand together, we walk together, we live together, and we die together. We need to die together in Nigeria to make Nigeria a better place. And when we walk, uh, walk together and stand together, we stand together to fight injustice. We stand together to promote the dignity of human person. We stand together to promote equity. We stand together to love together. If you think that poverty cannot be eradicated, all your programming, your thoughts and behavior will be towards that line. But if you believe that poverty can be eradicated, then you will do everything that is necessary to eradicate poverty. We know that we are living at a time where we have the greatest amount of resources ever known in world history. The resources in the world today, if used judiciously, can eradicate poverty. But we have poverty because the world is concentrated in the hands of a few people. The population of Nigeria is almost 200 million. 90 million, over 90 million are living in extreme poverty. 46% of all Nigerians are living in extreme poverty. Over 46% in a country that, for those of us like me who come from Zambia, we've always considered Nigeria to be the giant economy of Africa. We know the wealth that exists in this country. And yet I want to ask you the question, where is your outrage? Where is your outrage when your brothers and sisters are living in abject poverty? Where is your outrage when young girls are being given in early marriage, when they're supposed to be at school, enjoying their lives as young people growing up? Where is your outrage when there's female genital mutilation? Where is your outrage when women are being battered in their homes? Where is your outrage when there are no women at the decision-making space? Where is your outrage when you look at your brothers and sisters in Maiduguri and they are suffering without shelter, without access to land, without resources? 